Hello friends, welcome to eSparks.in. Hope you are all doing well. Right. So before moving into today's class, let us revise some of the topics that we have read before. So who can say that there is a scheme? There is a scheme for the migrant workers. For the migrant workers. What is the scheme? That is Prayas. Right. Next, there is another scheme. Uh, there is another scheme uh, under the MSME sector. There are three schemes. Which are the new schemes? They are MSME, GIFT, right? MSC Spice and MSC. Uh, what is it? MSC GIFT, MSC Spice, and MSC ODR. Okay. Now uh, another one. One company it has. It has achieved the WEF Lighthouse status. Which company is it? It is ACZ, uh, ACZ Capsule. Okay. So these are some of the data. These are some of the news that we had learned in the previous video. So now let us learn some of the new concepts, some of the new topics in this video. Let me brief you because this, this session would be a more would be much important for you because we have kept some of the important data which must be mentioned or which can come from the examination point of view. So stay tuned to this. RBI has maintained the status quo. What is status quo? It has not changed the repo rate. The steady repo rate is 6.5% uh, is kept fixed. Right. So this is the fifth consecutive year and don't make note of this. And also if you make note then uh, then put it as a star mark or uh, keep it as because these these keep on changing these are bi-monthly reports and on every second month you will you will get the, these reports okay so the repo rate is kept at 6.5 percent what is this repo rate this is a monetary tool this is a monetary tool used by RBI to control inflation to control the liquidity right now the policy rates have remained unchanged for the repo rate, bank rate, MSF rate. What is the MSF rate and what is the SDF rate? This is standing deposit facility and the marginal standing facility rate, right? So we have we have mentioned this. Don't uh, don't uh, become tension here, uh, tension here or stressed here because we have we are coming to this. What are these? Okay. Now rational. What is the what is the objective behind this to con to keep this steady rate to keep this inflation rate or the repo rate fixed? Okay. So this is to achieve inflation and the target to maintain the consumer price index inflation around 4% with a 2% tolerance range. So what is the inflation range? Uh, what is the inflation zone? 2% to 6%. Right. So 4% is the ideal zone which must be targeted to achieve. If it cannot achieve then we have plus minus 2 a tolerance zone. That is 4 minus 2 that is 2% is the minimum tolerance zone below which the inflation shouldn't go and uh, plus 2% that is 6% it is the upper range right and then the RBI has maintained its real GDP growth at 7% and it is expecting that in a financial year 20, uh, 2025 that is uh, from April to June 2024 this GDP will be around 6.7% 6.5% 6.4% so these are some of the estimations you need not remember all these okay so but keep in mind that the that the GDP growth projection for FY24 is 7%. <coughs> now, the RBI, the RBI has increased the limits for e-mandate and UPI tradition. So when you go to a shop, for example, you are paying by the QR code, right? You have purchased a new bike, you are paying by the QR code. So what is the maximum transaction that you could do before? It was rupees 1 lakh. Okay. If you are now going to an insurance agency or for capital market, you can say that you could maximum do a transaction of 2 lakh by UPI. Okay. But for purchasing an IPO subscription or for purchasing the IPO, that is initial public offering, right? So you must have learnt it in the, uh, in the finance sector. IPO is there in the finance sector, right? So here the maximum transaction is 5 lakh rupees. Okay. But various sectors like the medical sector and various other sectors there is a need to increase the UPI transaction 
Okay, so in this slide, first let us uh, learn about the e-mandate. Okay, for subscription to mutual fund, insurance premium and credit card bill, initially there was e-mandate to 15,000, which has now been increased to rupees 1 lakh by the RBI. Okay, so larger recurring payments can be done through these uh, e-mandates without additional factor of authentication for, for, uh, for uh, transactions through the e-mandate. Okay. For transition through the e-mandate, after 15,000, you have again to do the AFA factor of authentication, AFA authentication, but now currently it has been increased to 1 lakh. So keep in mind that 15,000 e-mandate system has been changed to rupees 1 lakh, right? <coughs> Now, for the UPI transaction, you can see that we have learned that it was 1 lakh for general purposes. So, 1 lakh rupees has now been increased to rupees 5 lakh in which sectors for hospital and educational institutions. So, you can you can uh, remember it that it is a very important point. Okay, from 1 lakh now you can now in medical facilities you will go and you can do a transaction of 5 lakh rupees by the UPI. Okay, keep in mind. So, this change allows for easier and faster processing of high value payment for medical bill, educational fees using the UPI. Okay, so when was the UPI launched? UPI was launched in 2016 by the NPCI or National Payment Corporation of India. Now, let us move on to the next news. RBI model projects slower GDP growth and lower inflation for India. <clears throat> so, there is a RBI model which is called the DSGE model or the Dynamic Stochastic General Equilibrium model. Okay. So, what is it? It is used for? It is used for projection of economic growth and inflation. Right. The, DG, the GDP growth has been projected by the DSGE model, model and it projects that the growth rate of 6.0%. So, what did we learn about the RBI? The RBI projected the growth rate 7.0%. Okay, so now the recently DSG model projects it is 6.0%. This is 50 basis point lower than the official projection made by RPI. So, Monetary Policy Committee in 2023 October, it projected that 6.5%. It would be 6.5%, but DSG model projects it as 6.0%. So, this is from only phase 1 point of view. You need not mention all these models. Okay, it won't be asked in your exam. The DSG model predicts a more optimistic scenario for inflation. Considering inflation, it projects it. Okay. And it projects the retail inflation to 4.8% for FY25. <coughs> now, there is something called evergreening. Okay. So, since we know that RBI has now banned the pay Paytm payment gateway and it has now also, uh, it has now also stopped a insurance company insurance company for providing loans which one is it please do mention it in comments okay you must be aware of all these facts because these are the current ongoing um, things you must keep in mind okay so R uh, rbi what is it, it is doing it is now making the things stricter okay so it has implemented stricter regulation to combat the practice of evergreening loan okay by lenders using the alternative investment funds so we know that there are various factors there are various uh, no, there is uh, we know that alternative sources in the topic itself we have learned about the alternative sources of funding or credit okay this is present in the finance syllabus okay if you go through it you will know it so what is over ever gaining first let us learn that so whenever there are some new new loans some borrowers are there okay let me consider that i am a borrower i am a borrower of xyz company okay i am a borrower of this company and i know that i won't be able to pay my debt i will take the loan and i will not pay it Okay, so what does this evergreening, uh, evergreening means it is a deceptive ta tactic, means a cheating tactic, tactic where the lenders provide new loans to struggling borrowers who are unable to repay the existing debts. I am unable to repay my debt. I, I have the debt with me. Mere paas mere wo debt hai. Hum abhi tak repay nahi kiya hai. But I will go to a lender and I know that he evergreens it. Wo kya karega? Wo thoda sa chalaki kar dega. He will cheat it and... Why? He will generally provide it at a, 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 a greater rate of interest. Okay. So, 
वो क्या करेगा कि हाँ वो लोन बांटेगा क्योंकि उसको तो चाहिए इंटरेस्ट चाहिए तो हमको पता है कि हम अभी इंटरेस्ट नहीं पे कर पाएंगे बट उसको तो ये चीज़ उतना पता नहीं है तो हम क्या करेंगे थोड़ा सा धोखेबाजी के पास उसके जाएंगे एंड ये क्या करेगा ये उतना जांच पड़ताल नहीं करेगा इसको बस थोड़ा हायर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट में फिफ्टीन तो परसेंट ट्वेंटी इंटरेस्ट में ये क्या करेगा लोन दे देगा ठीक सो वाई इज दिस आर बी को इससे क्या फर्क पड़ेगा ओके सो आर बी आई इज इन्वॉल्व इन इट बिकॉज दिस लैंडर्स टू टेम्पोरली मास्क बैड लोन ये क्या करता है नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स दिस क्रिएट नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव दिस इज ए दस कंसिडर दैट दिस इज ए एन बी एफ सी नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड इट हैज गिवेन अ लोन ऑफ रुपीज टेन क्रोर्स लेट एस कंसिडर दस क्रोर का ये लोन दे दिया है टू टू मी एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी ओके इट हैज गिवेन मी दिस लोन एंड आई एम नॉट रिपेइंग इट हम क्या किए हैं एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी आई एम दी एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी एंड आई एम नॉट रिपेइंग इट तो सो दिस दिस मनी ऑफ आर बी आई इज ब्लॉक्ड ओके सो दी एन बी एफ सी जो ये पैसा दे दिया है अभी वो धोखा में आ गया है एंड ये पैसा जो है दस करोड़ रुपया टोटली ब्लॉक हो गया है एंड इट इज नॉट अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी राइट सो वट इज आर बी आई डन आर बी आई हैज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट्स banks and non banking financial institutions are now prohibited they are banned from investing in the aif schemes alternative investment funds mein tum log ko paisa hi nahi lagana hai kaam khatam tum log ko aur ye sab cheez mein ghusna hi nahi hai okay that have recently invested in companies that are borrowers from concerned lenders themselves now time bound liquidation if a lender has already invested in such an aif scheme agar wo investment abhi kar diya hai they are mandated to liquidate their investment within 30 days Now they must get the money back within the thirty days, or they must liquidate this. Okay, उसके जगह मैं कुछ और चीज़ ले आना, so that this can be. Or example, we can say that some collaterals. ओके या फिर उस चीज का जमीन उसके अगेंस्ट में कुछ प्रोविजनिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स फेल्योर टू लिक्विडेट द इन्वेस्टमेंट विद इन द स्टिपुलेटेड टाइम फ्रेम दैट इज विद इन थर्टी डेज विल रिक्वायर द लेंडर्स टू मेक अ हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रोविजन ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट अमाउंट वो जैसे करके भी हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रोविजन वो कहीं से जुगाड़ करेगा एंड दिस एसेंसरी सेट्स असाइड कैपिटल टू कवर पोटेंशियल लॉसेज और इससे हम लोग को लॉस कवर हो जाएगा <coughs> capital deduction investment by lenders in a specific type of aif unit will be entirely deducted from their capital funds now why it is done it is first done to increase the transparency in loan loan portfolios so that we would discourage this evergreening practice evergreening is not a good thing ओके okay, तो चोरी करके ये किसी को पैसा दे देना वो कि छुप छुप के आर के नज़र से हट के दूर होके पैसा दे देना दिस नॉट अ गुड थिंग ओके आर बी इज द रेगुलेटर बॉडी नाउ स्ट्रेंथन द फाइनेंशियल हेल्थ ऑफ द लैंडर्स जो लैंडर है चाहे वो बैंक है नॉन बैंकिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन है वी हैव टू इंक्रीज देर हेल्थ वी हैव टू कीप दैम हेल्दी ओके सो दैट दी माई फाइनेंशियल माई फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विल भी हेल्दी माई फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन विल भी हेल्दी राइट सो आई हैव टू प्रिवेंट द बैड लोन्स बैड लोन कौन सा है जिसमें नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स क्रिएट होते हैं राइट right? जो लोन जिसमें हम लोग को फिर रिटर्न नहीं मिले ना प्रमोट रेस्पॉन्सिबल लैंडिंग प्रैक्टिसेस हु आर द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज कमर्शियल बैंक अर्बन कॉपरेट फैक्टर्स एन बी एफ सी एंड ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन Now we have learned about the AIFs. What are these AIFs? They are the investment vehicles that pool funds from private investors. वो private investors से पैसा ले करके invest in various asset classes according to different strategies. अलग कहीं पे ये invest कर लेंगे, ठीक है? So this is the XYZ company. I will take a, a loan from let us consider SBI, okay? And then I will invest it in some other places. <coughs> saying that ki ha theek hai i will give you uh, the 20% 20% interest rate okay so these are some of these things so they are regulated by the sebi under specific aif regulations now uh, we have covered this thing okay we have covered this thing now we can liquidity management so here it is a important topic right so rbi this is a great move by rbi so previously what was done previously the bank could only utilize the sdf and msf we have learned about this sdf and msf <coughs> okay so these transactions are done on weekdays these these are generally uh, overnight transactions right ek hi raat mein transaction ho jayega working days mein on the weekdays okay and uh, agar wo transaction friday hota hai so फ्राइडे अगर वो होगा देन उसका रिटर्न कब आएगा मंडे आएगा सो सैटरडे संडे ऑफ रहता है ये लोन का सो दीज आर जनरली दीज हैपन ऑन दी वीक डेज ओके सो इफ दीज आर नॉट डन वीक डेज दिस ट्रांजेक्शन दिस मीन्स लिमिटेड फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इफ अ पर्सन वांट्स इफ अ बैंक वांट्स मनी ऑन सैटरडे इट हैज टू वेट फॉर मंडे सो दैट द मनी वुड कम देयर ओके 
so this has reduced the flexibility and this has reduced the liquidity but what has rbi done rbi has rbi has taken a new move in which in which the deposit surplus funds on sdf will also be available in the weekends and holidays you can withdraw the funds deposited in the sdf or borrow from the msf on any day any day irrespective of holidays most importantly reverse these transactions withdraw from sdf or repay msf borrowings on weekends and holidays you can do this on any days so irrespective of holidays or weekends you can do this transaction on any days so now let us first learn that what are the sdf and msf sdf as we know that standing deposit facility and msf is marginal standing facility so sdf is a risk free tool for bank deposit surplus so banks banks what will we do banks will deposit so this is now currently 6.75 percent <coughs> okay so this is rbi rbi has two policies we know repo rate and reverse repo rate what is the reverse repo rate? Repo rate we know. What is this reverse repo rate? In reverse reverse repo rate, RBI takes the money from the banks and RBI deposits securities. Okay. RBI says that you take this security, you take this security and give me the money. By this, what is this? It controls the liquidity. So when RBI is taking the money by using the reverse repo rate, you can say that RBI is collecting the money from the bank and it is decreasing the liquidity okay it is decreasing the liquidity so jaise ye paisa le lega rbi rbi paisa lete jayega paisa lete jayega so bank ke paas paisa kam pad jayega bank ke paas paisa kab pad jayega to loans kam ho jayenge okay logo ke paas paisa kam ho jayega money ka flow kam ho jayega okay kyunki market mein money ka shortage aane lagega theek hai to rbi ka yahi policy hai for the reverse repo rate but what is this in in case of this in the reverse repo rate it deposits a security ab agar rbi if rbi has to take very much means high amount of money then it has to provide large amount of securities but kyunki government securities are limited government securities are limited therefore this is the system standing deposit facility this is the system in which rbi asks the rbi a bank a bank can deposit its extra amount of money with rbi and without any without any collateral or without any security so rbi ke paas wo kabhi bhi jama kar sakta hai collateral ko usko zarurat bhi nahi hai theek hai isliye cf 6.75 percent hai without any security so abhi rbi ke paas kya facility ho gaya rbi can take this money without providing this government security to ye jo government security ka dhanda tha wo hat gaya hai government security is only present in reverse repo rate now and not is not in the standing deposit facility so this is the difference between the standing de deposit facility and the reverse repo okay now what is the marginal standing facility Mar in which the marginal standing facility is the uh, is the window for which the banks borrow short term liquidity from rbi at a slightly higher interest rate abhi this is the bank okay this is the bank and this is rbi <coughs> now the bank needs money excess amount of money बैंक के पास और कोई उपाय नहीं है उसके पास सारा सारा पैसा उसके पास खत्म हो गया है पैसा वो सारा लैंड कर दिया है अभी रेपो रेट के पास भी लिए भी उसके पास कोई सिक्योरिटी विक्योरिटी कुछ नहीं है ओके सो इट इज सिक्योरिटीज बट रेपो रेट में उसका उतना मनी का पैसा उतना जमा नहीं कर पाएगा अभी उसको एक्सेस मनी चाहिए कैसे करेगा वो जाएगा मार्ज वो जाएगा आर के पास बोलेगा थोड़ा सा एक काम करो ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट तुम रख लो और मगर मेरे को पैसा दे दो मुझे पैसा जरूरत है okay so you can see that by this tool whereas in standing deposit facility rbi is rbi is reducing the money okay but now by the marginal standing facility what it is doing it is providing the money to the banks although at a higher interest rate but it is providing the money so here rbi is increasing the money okay so these are some of the differences abhi jaise msf and sdf these things can be done on saturday and sunday on even on holidays so it has improved the liquidity management abhi aap kahin pe bhi jaiye kabhi bhi jaiye liquidity management ho jayega reduced risk maan lijiye ki abhi loan lene ke liye paisa nahi hai ya fir customer aa gaya hai customer aa gaya hai customer kehta hai ki mera account mein 1 lakh rupya ka fd tha बट बैंक के पास तो सारा सब कुछ वो लोन में दे दिया है एक लाख रुपया मेरे पास है नहीं तो ये रिस्क का जाएगा बैंक के लिए बैंक के लिए रिस्क बैंक कहेगा कि मेरे पास पैसा नहीं है तो कस्टमर आके उसको पिटना शुरू करेगा सो व्हाट विल डस इट विल गो टू दी आरबीआई 
ठीक है चाहे वो संडे हो कुछ भी दिन हो कहीं भी ट्रांजेक्शन कुछ भी हो ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन हो तो वो आर के पास जाएगा आर से कहेगा कि संडे का दिन है थोड़ा सा एम के थ्रू मुझे पैसा दे दो ओके सो इट इज रिड्यूस रिस्क नाउ स्मूथ फाइनेंशियल ऑपरेशन एंड ग्रेटर एफिशियंसी नाउ देर इज अनदर रिपोर्ट ऑफ आरबीआई आरबीआई रिपोर्ट ऑन स्टेट फाइनेंसेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो वट इज इट सर इट सेज दैट इज द डेफिसिट डेफिसिट इज डेफिसिट हैपन्स वेन द एक्सपेंडिचर वेन द एक्सपेंडिचर इज ग्रेटर देन द इनकम जब भी आमदनी से ज्यादा खर्चा बढ़ जाए जब भी जब भी खर्चे आमदनी से ज्यादा बढ़ जाए तब वो डेफिसिट होते हैं सो so, हमेशा कंट्री जो है वो डेफिसिट में ही रहता है अ कंट्री ऑलवेज रिमेंस इन डेफिसिट बिकॉज उसको लोन लेना पड़ता है इधर उधर से इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट के लिए ठीक है तो अभी इंडिया डेफिसिट में है बट द डेफिसिट हैज रिड्यूस्ड इट वॉज रिड्यूज फ्रॉम फोर ऑफ जी डी पी से इट हैज रिड्यूज टू टू ओके सो दिस इज दिस This is the report of RBI report on state finances. Next, so the RBI report on state finances analyzes the financial health of Indian states. Second, improved debt management. The debt to GDP ratio. Okay, so this fiscal debt to GDP. GDP. What does this show? This is show the in. This shows the income. So when the debt reduces. ओके व्हेन द डेप्ट रिड्यूसेस एंड जीडीपी इज फिक्स लेट अस रिमेंबर तो जैसे ही मान लीजिए फाइव बाय टेन है. ठीक है अभी डेप्ट कम हो गया टू बाई टेन सो वी कैन से कि ये भी कम हो गया है टू बाई टेन फाइव बाई टेन कितना हो जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू बाई टेन कितना हो जाएगा आपका जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके सो वी कैन से दैट डेप्ट बाय डेप्ट मैनेजमेंट भी इंक्रीज हो मीन्स बढ़ेगा अच्छा हो जाएगा अभी डेप्ट मैनेजमेंट कितना जीरो पॉइंट टू हो गया लेट्स कंसिडर दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके प्रूडेंट बजेटिंग जी एफ डी ओके ग्रॉस फिजिकल डेफिसिट टू जी डी पी हैज ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव दिस इज ऑल्सो सो दैट देर हैज बिन देर हैज बिन इंक्रीज इन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्पेंडिंग देर हैज बिन लोअर कंटीज एंड लाइबिलिटीज ओके एंड देर इज रिड्यूस रिलायंस ऑन मार्केट बोरोइंग सारे डेटा को आपको रिमेंबर करने का जरूरत नहीं है सो वट्स यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस फोर पॉइंट वन परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी टू पॉइंट एट परसेंट एंड यू कैन रिमेंबर फ्रॉम दिस स्मॉल थिंग्स लाइक डेप्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके सब डाटा को आप रिमेंबर करेंगे तो यू विल गेट कंफ्यूज but there are some areas of in, uh, that uh, in, uh, improvement high debt level okay debt to gdp ratio abhi bhi 20% se upar hai so the frbm or the fiscal responsibility budget um, management committee recommends that it must be within the 20% okay now uneven fiscal discipline there are 19% of states are union territory mein dekha jaye to abhi bhi unme gfd to gdp ratio 3% limit se zyada hai potential for higher liabilities so by seeing the increase in capital expenditure we can say ki jaise kharcha badh jayega hum logo ko kya hoga deficit will suddenly increase okay so this there is a potential for higher liabilities now when we do transaction this is a card and you are doing some transaction in some market or some swipe card machine swipe machine okay you are doing some transaction what does it do it does it gives a token it creates a token at the instant so ye safety ke liye hai ek token create hota hai but now rbi has expanded card on file tokenization for enhanced security what is this card on file tokenization can now be facilitated by either card issuers Ch chahe wo bank ho ya fir jo card network hai jaise visa master card rupee card ya jaise card networks hai so what will we do they will provide the card holders with more options they will what is this the single token a single token generated ho jayega wo card ke liye ओके नाउ आपको वो कार्ड एंटर नहीं करना पड़ेगा आपको वो टोकन एंटर करना पड़ेगा सो द कार्ड नंबर नाउ रिमेन्स सिक्योर आप कहीं भी ऑनलाइन रजिस्टर करेंगे दिस कार्ड नंबर यू विल नॉट हैव टू एंटर दिस कार्ड नंबर बट द टोकन नंबर सो द कार्ड नंबर विल रिमेन सिक्योर दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग ओके नाउ ईच मर्चेंट कार्ड होल्डर कैन नाउ क्रिएट अ सिंगल टोकन दैट वर्क अक्रॉस वेरियस ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ देर इट रिड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ टोकन नीडेड next increased security replacing the actual card details with tokens during online transaction minimize the risk of data breaches if merchant system is compromised agar koi hack kar bhi lega to utna aasani nahi hoga kyunki usko card number nahi milega ek token milega to token generation pehle hoga card holders can initiate the token creation process through mobile banking app or internet banking portal offered by their card issuer chahe hamara sbi ka hai ya fir hdfc ka hai hum direct internet banking mein login karenge and i can generate a token for the card right then merchant selection 
कार्ड होल्डर इशुअर मस्ट प्रोवाइड लिस्ट ऑफ मर्चेंट्स कहां कहां से हमको टोकनाइजेशन सर्विसेज अवेलेबल कराना है ओके सो दीज मर्चेंट्स विल ओनली बी एबल टू टोकनाइज द कार्ड्स now this this token can be used the token is stored securely by the card issuer or network and shared with the chosen merchant during checkout the merchant will receive the token instead of actual card details okay to so, usi merchant ke through mein transaction hoga aur alag koi merchant ke through mein transaction nahi hoga so this will increase the security now दिस आर नॉट मच इम्पोर्टेंट सो दी बैकग्राउंड में थोड़ा देखेंगे तो दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड इट बिकम ऑपरेशनल इन ट्वेंटी टू टोकनाइजेशन इज करेंटली अवेलेबल ओनली फॉर डोमेस्टिक ट्रांजेक्शन विद इन इंडिया ठीक है Now the last news of the day, RBI model अभी प्रोजेक्ट करता है कि देर इज अ लोअर जी डी पी ग्रोथ एंड इन्फ्लेशन फॉर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव तो ये कौन सा मॉडल है डी एस जी ई मॉडल सो वी हैव लर्न वी हैव लर्न दिस टू अ लिटिल एक्सटेंट थोड़ा सा आप देख लेंगे कि सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इज अ प्रोजेक्शन बाय द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी बट एज द डी एस जी प्रोजेक्ट इज प्रोजेक्ट सिक्स परसेंट ओके तो सीपीआई कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स इन्फ्लेशन कितना है एफ वाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में फाइव पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ओके okay, फिर 5.2 पॉइंट यहां पर थोड़ा सा बढ़ रहा है क्वार्टर थ्री में रिटेल इन्फ्लेशन अगर देखेंगे तो रिटेल इन्फ्लेशन भी थोड़ा सा मॉडरेट है 4.8 परसेंट सो दीज आर दीज ऑल फॉर द डे व्हाट इज द डीएसजी मॉडल इट वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय आरबीआई ड्यूरिंग द कोविड 19 पेंडेमिक सो डीएसजीई मॉडल व्हाट यू हैव लर्न अबाउट दिस मॉडल दिस इज द डायनामिक स्टॉकास्टिक जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम मॉडल राइट नाउ और क्या है ग्लोबल व्हाट इज द सीपीआई कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स सो देर आर टू मेथड्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इन्फ्लेशन मीन्स रिपोर्टिंग वन इज द सीपीआई एंड वन इज द डब्ल्यू पी आई देर इज ऑल्सो पीपीआई इंडेक्स बट विच इज नॉट मच यूज सो अभी सीपीआई एंड डब्ल्यू पी आई इज यूज होता है सबसे ज्यादा सीपीआई सबसे मैक्सिमम प्लेसेस में यूज होता है बिकॉज इट प्रोजेक्ट द टोटल रेट तो ये सारा आपको इन्फ्लेशन वाला लेसन में मिलेगा वी वुड नॉट कवर इन टू मच डिटेल्स नाउ ओके तो ये प्राइस इंडेक्स को मेंटेन करता है बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टिपिकली कंज्यूम बाई इंडियन हाउस होल्ड एंड इट इज रिलीज बाय द नेशनल स्टेटिस्टिकल ऑफिस सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक अवर वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक अस सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड कीप ज्वाइन रिमेन ज्वाइन टू अस कीप स्टेट यून और थोड़ा सा रिवाइज करते रहिए कोई भी डाउट हो तो जरूर आस्क जरूर पूछिए कमेंट सेक्शन में एंड इफ यू कैन इम्प्रूव देन प्लीज लेट अस नो हाउ यू कैन इम्प्रूव थ्रू द कमेंट्स और थ्रू आवर थ्रू आवर वेबसाइट ई स्पार्क्स dot in esparx dot in you can visit our website and let us know anything so we are just creating our website we are developing our website where you will also get the notes of management finance uh, es of economics social social issues and also the current affairs we are modifying our website we are creating it hope uh, it would be created very soon so stay tuned thank you for this awesome session and all the best